as you probably know, Washington, D.C. is a city full of important people and some self-important people as well who have jobs which sometimes require something called credentials, which must be listed on something called a dossier. We less important folks said just called them resumes. <laughs> in the old days. Most of these personal portfolios are available only to those who walk the high-powered corridors of the White House or Congress or the State Department. One dossier, however, is available to, to anybody in Washington. It's, uh, right on the newsstands. It's this magazine. It's called Dossier Magazine, and it was started about five years ago. I don't, can't. There it is. You can see all those important uh, faces there. It's uh, started five years ago by publisher David Adler, uh, founded on the belief that Washington's social life is just as interesting as its political life. Well, we don't know about that, but we're going to talk now with David Adler about him and his magazine. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, David. Are you there? Thank you. Yes, I'm here. There you are. Uh, it, isn't it true, or at least we always, whoops, there goes my phone. <laughs> I hope nobody was on it. The, uh, that the principle in Washington for society was that uh, the, the Washington social life revolves around politics, not any real society. It does. It revolves around, it revolves around politics. It revolves around position, as you had mentioned. Uh, Washington society is probably the only catalyst for bringing together diplomats, ambassadors, other diplomats, senators, congressmen, White House officials. And it really is the only form of getting these people together because they are truly workaholics, not alcoholics, and spend all of their, most of them spend their time working. And the social scene is pure. That, uh, the, the society in Washington changes every four years. It changes the minute your position is gone. You can, you're uh, immediately taken off a lot of the, uh, lot of the lists. And we're finding that that's happening right now, that there is people taking bets on who's going to be the big uh, people in the Republican administration and, and are the Democrats going to their last few parties or not. What do you do about divorce? Uh, when, when two prominent people get divorced, do you stop covering uh, the lesser of the two or do you try to cover them both in different places or what? Fairly done. Mr. Adler, in 10 seconds. Do you think uh, your magazine could hurt some people running for re-election when the folks, folks at home see all the good times that they're having there? Uh, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank David Adler, much. for uh, giving us a peek at the last five years. And happy and anniversary.